Hello and welcome. This is SETS video number 11 and today we are going to take a look at some very simple representations of uh, SETS in terms of Wayne diagrams. So we have just learned what are Wayne diagrams and now let's take a look at some questions that may suggest or ask us to draw Wayne diagrams. So this is the first question. So our universal set is given as A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels in English language. And our set A is a subset of U. And set A contains element A and U. So how are we going to draw this diagram? So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to first draw a circle which represents our set A. And what is inside this circle? So this circle represents, let's write it over here, set A. And A contains A and U. So we say, let us say this point is A and this point is U. So these are two elements of set A. Next, we draw our rectangle. And rectangle is the universal set. We write it uppercase U. And now, universal set contains A, E, I, O, U. So A and U are already here. That means now we need to get E, I, and O. So let's say arbitrarily, say this point is E, say this point is I, and let's say this point is O. This is how we are going to write the Wayne diagram for this particular question. Let's take a look at our second question. So we have to solve this problem. So universal set now contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Set A is equal to 2, 3, 4. Set A has only these three elements. And set B has 1, 3, 5 elements. Both A and B are subsets of U. So how are we going to draw this diagram? So the first thing to realize here is, let's see set A and B and find out if they have any common elements. So A has 2, 4, 6 even numbers 2, 4, 6 and B has 1, 3, 5, 3 odd numbers. So they don't have anything in common. So we have to draw set A like this and our set B like this. So let's say this is set A. Let's write it over here. This is A and let's say this is B. Now what are the elements of A? A has, A has let's say this is 2, this is 4 and so this is 6. So similarly for B, we have 1, 3, 5. So let's say this is 1, this is 3, and this point is, let's say, 5. So we have written the, the elements for A and B. Now, we have to still draw our universal set. So we draw it like this. And let's say, so this is a universal set Q. And what are elements of U? U has 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are already covered. That means the elements which are remaining, they are, I believe, so 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we can arbitrarily put, let's say this is number 7, let's say this is number 8, let's say this is number 9, and this is number 10. So this is a valid way to solve this particular question. Let's take a look at the next problem. So this time, our universal set is the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is universal set U. Our set A has elements 1, 2, 3. And our set B has elements 1, 3, 5, and 6. Both A and B are subsets of U. But this time... If we look closely, we notice that the particular element, that is this particular element, number 1, this is a common element between set A and set B. Also, 3 is a common element between A and B. That means this time when we draw the set, what we will get is that we should have our sets drawn like this. So this will be circle representing set A. Now, this is how we are going to draw set B. So why did we draw set B in this fashion? Why did we make them overlap? 
It's very simple. The reason we did it this way is because set A has element 1 over here and element 3 and set B also has 1 and 3. That means we need to have set A and B overlap. So let's say this is set A. Let's write it over here. And this is B. So this overlap will contain the number 1 and 3. So let's say this is number 1. This is number 3. Now, what are the remaining elements of set A? So we have the number 2. So let's say this is number 2. Now similarly, what are the remaining elements for set B? 5 and 6. So let's say this is 5. And so this is 6. And now we will draw our universal set like this. And universal set is uppercase U. Now, universal set has 1 through 10. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. So we need a 4. 5, 6 is here. So then we need a 7. We need an 8. We need a 9. And we need a 10. So as you can see, I have completely arbitrarily positioned these five elements anywhere in the bigger rectangle because they are part of the universal set, but making sure that these are not inside A, nor they're inside B. So this is how we solve these types of questions. So let's take a look at maybe one last question before we actually wrap up this video. So our final question has the same universal set 1, 2, 3, 4 through 10. Set A is 2, 4, 6. Set B has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Both A and B are subsets of U. A is a subset of B. If you look closely, A has 2, 4, and 6. And we notice that B has a 2, B has a 4, B has a 6. So how are we going to draw the Wayne diagram for this particular question. Well, first, let's draw set A. Now, because all elements of A, they also belong to B, we know that A is a subset of B. We have seen when we call one set a subset of another. I'm going to provide the video link in the top right corner here as well. So this is our set A. Now, what are the elements which are in set A? Two, 4 and 6. So let's write it here. So this is 2, this is 4, and let's say this is 6. 2, 4, and 6. Now let's draw set B. Our set B will look like this. So this is set A, and this outer set is B. Now, what are elements in B? B has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2, 4, and 6 are already here. We don't have to write it separately because set B, so these elements are also in set B, but now we need to get the other elements. So 1, 2 is here, 3, 4 is here, 5, 6, and we need a 7. So this is how we get elements in set B. Now we have to draw our universal set. So let's draw a universal set like this, uppercase letter U. And it is a convention to write the, the symbol or, uh, or the letter for universal set at the top right side of the universal set or the rectangle. Now let's see what all elements we have already accounted for. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need now 8, 9, and 10. So let's arbitrarily place them here. 8, 9, and maybe over here, 10. So this is how we draw, we draw the Wayne diagram for this problem. So if you're enjoying these videos, definitely subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new videos that I publish.